In today's video, we'll be taking a look back at the Nickelodeon show Victorious, looking at the show's history and discovering where Rex the ventriloquist dummy is today. Before we start this video, leave a comment below letting me know what is your favorite childhood show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more awesome puppet videos just like this. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about Rex from Victorious. I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend because I, feel like I watched Victorious too, but I feel like you watched it more than me. Probably. Because this was more centered toward girls. Before we begin this video, please go follow this pretty face right here at Nostalgia the Max on Instagram and also on YouTube where she talks about nostalgic content, nostalgic commercials, nostalgic everything. Also, during this video, if you guys hear any wind noises, fan noises, it's really hot here out in California. I mean, it's always kind of warm. If you hear any of that, I apologize, but it is warm and we don't want to pass out. I technically watched it in high school. It came out when we were in like seventh grade, which there's a debate on when exactly it came out. Some people said it came out in 2009. Some people say it came out in 2010. Let's say show the pilot then. He may, yeah, because that's yeah. the pilot was uploaded in 2009. Yeah. Basically, it's about this girl named Tori and her sister and her best friend is named Andre. They are both very talented. Okay, well, Trina's up for debate, which is why they make an episode on how the heck she got into that school. They go to a high school that is centered around performing arts, which they they do exist. There are high schools for that all around entertainment, like singing, acting. Something happens with Trina during her performance and Tori has to fill in. So Andre's like, you should come to the school. What was the school called? Hollywood Arts. There you go. Thank you. So at the school, she meets lots of characters. She meets a gothic girl named Jade who has a boyfriend named Beck. She meets a very dingy redhead named Kat, which is crazy. I cannot believe that's Ariana Grande. And then she meets a guy named Robbie, which is which this video is about, who is a ventriloquist and he carries around a puppet named Rex. And there's so many shenanigans and songs about like her journey with music and fitting in with Hollywood arts kids. It's kind of their own skill of talent that they brought to the table and then they would incorporate that into each episode. All right, so Rex's full name, which I didn't even know this, is Rex Powers. He's Robbie's best friend and ventriloquist dummy. He does not like to be called a dummy or a puppet and he says what's on his mind and he doesn't hold back or beat around the bush. One thing that me and other people have noticed is that Robbie will use Rex to like say things that he's thinking like for example rex is always the one to hit on all the girls and that's what robbie's thinking because he doesn't feel confident in doing so right. almost like robbie's alter ego when you're a puppeteer you can kind of what's great about that is you can escape and be who you aren't you can be like another version of yourself which sounds almost like you have a split personality it's all for fun and you can say things that you normally wouldn't say you can do things you normally wouldn't do you know within reason another thing robbie will say mean things through rex that he's thinking oh it kind of goes hand in hand to actually how puppeteers feel and how we act and we kind of you know that's our way of stepping out of our comfort zone if we're like shy and more to ourselves so that's why i always liked about it because i could relate rex is puppeteered by matt bennett of course but he's actually voiced by jake farrell who actually you guys might recognize from drake and josh he played like the weird like concession guy who worked at the movie theater with like the long mullet. Then credit Jake Farrell because they wanted to keep that illusion that Robbie was real or that you believe that uh, Matt really did voice, not Robbie. Rex. Sounds pretty close. If Matt Bennett went deeper, I could see what... He could do it. Yeah. Going along with um, where Robbie obviously isn't confident talking to girls, so he uses Rex hit on the girls. One thing that most people have noticed and I noticed, because Robbie and they're just, they're so cute. Because Robbie actually really likes Kat, I don't know if anybody's noticed this, but Rex does not hit on Kat at all. It's all Robbie. Outside of Kat, he's pretty much mean to everybody else. He said in the pilot episode or X, he looked completely different from of course how he looked toward the end of this series yeah yeah, yeah i think his head was like enormous round, his eyes. he had like a round face and was like here i am you know he looked he very like, yeah. very big if you, if you do like from first <sighs> seeing him on screen to the last time completely different is they should have made like some type of rex puppet i think that would be they, cool. oh replica yeah yeah they should have I, I, I think that would be cool but they made victoria's dolls i should have brought them but we could pop up pictures go to her tiktok Right? Yeah. And go check those videos out. Yeah, well, it kind of got canceled abruptly because they don't have an ending. I don't know if you knew that. They don't right. have a movie. They don't have an right. ending. They don't talk about drama here. Not but funny. some say because Victoria Justice wanted to do a tour. Some say the network just squashed it because they're like, yeah, the ratings aren't as good. So we're just not going to make any more episodes. Right. Which led to Sam and Kat. There's a lot of back and forth of why the show ended. They don't have a proper ending in the show. Actually, something I found out that was pretty cool. On Matt Bennett's YouTube channel, he actually uh, reacted to a few of the victorious episodes and gave some behind the scenes to fans and people wanted to know certain special things and he actually mentioned about rex he mentioned a couple of fun facts okay there was a stunt rex whose mouth didn't open 
And that's like if he had to be thrown or tossed somewhere. And then there were two other Rexes. So I feel like three that we use regularly, but one without a working mouth. Well, as you see, like on any show or puppet project, they have multiple sets of puppets. Of when they can beat up. Yeah, when they can beat up, throw around, put stuff on. So that way you're not relying upon just one character. If that hap if something happens to that character, it gets damaged. Or and I, I didn't know this, but I guess with Ventura, because that means paint can chip. That permanently stained that Rex's face. I don't think we ever got to use that one again because it, it uh, degraded the paint on him. Oh. It's a wood face. Unlike Kermit and Lamar, felt. felt and foam. You see when we don't want that getting on there because that could ruin that. You could easily clean it more than one. Yeah, 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 you can wash it out, which I still wouldn't suggest because again, there's foam there. A Vangelica zombie, I would imagine, would be more durable. And again, if there's mechanisms and then it got in his eye, and if he has like an eye mechanism or anything like that, that can ruin. I don't want that. But it's good that they had other ones on set. We tried contacting the whole cast of Victorious. Yeah. We tried everybody. I that part of where is that puppet today? What I found out through a Reddit, someone had asked the question, the cast came back to do a reunion with each other via Zoom due to everything going on. You can actually see Dan sitting there in like, I think a thumbnail or one of the clips, he's sitting there with a Rex puppet like on his lap. Now, of course, no one knows what Rex it was because a lot of people are speculating, oh, it looks like the one from the first pilot episode or it looks like the one from the this episode, that episode, one of the Rexes that he owned, which is good to know that there's at least a Rex out there that someone owns. And hopefully he's taking good care of him. As of April 12th, 2021, that's when this Reddit was posted. Someone responded and said, Dan presumably owns the version used in most of season three and four. So multiple responses this person got about where Rex is today. Parallel yeah. reality. Said. Maybe he went on his way with Northern Bridge Girls. Robo Eagles said there were multiple Rexes according to Matt Bennett. So he says some of them were probably in storage. Um, but I remember during the reunion call, Dan Schneider had one that was there and then this other person knows a lot wow it said honestly there were a lot of prototypes and variants uh made before the design was finalized the pilot rex was like was likely dismantled and then recast it made into a similar mold which would later evolve into the puppet using the bird scene and stage fighting episodes the bird scene was the second episode and i think stage fighting was either the third or fourth episode they, after this they took the original sculpt and tweaked the eyelids shape and design was finalized anyways i believe most of these were either destroyed or producers could have just been sent home with versions they were unlikely used in true crossovers there are four made using final modes uh and they know a lot but in a good way they, they know a lot and then at the end of this they pretty much say also considering he left nickelodeon meaning dan schneider in early 2018 and was shown with it in 2020 uh in a call i'd say it's safe to say he's the legitimate owner and took the prop as a momentum. Like a lot of speculation, kind of like a lot of other videos that you've seen me do here on the channel, either they were destroyed, someone kept them, or- Maybe one of the producers took the other ones, but they can't say anything, or maybe Matt Bennett does have one, but he can't say anything, because that does happen. Also, a little fun fact, Alex brought some of my attention because when you try to, you know, you do Google research, where's Rex at? Uh, it typed in, yeah, uh, Rex Power is better known as Christopher Kane. I'm like, who in the world is Christopher Kane? She brought it to my attention that supposedly, Rex is the character on Victorious, the actor who plays Rex, Rex, the Matruka's dummy, is named Christopher, Christopher Kane. Kane. See it in the Blutorious episodes when he interviews each of the cast, and he's like, oh, Ariana Grande, let's take a look at your uh, bloopers, and then they'll play it for each actor. He interviewed some of the cast of like Carly, too. Yeah, I think he appears in Carly. I guess Carly. there's a scene where he has a Miranda Cosgrove, she has like a tomato in front of her face, or hot sauce in front of her face. I don't know what, what that has to do with anything, but it's, you know, random. I think he's drinking like a glass of apple juice. Or yeah, something. with Daniela Monet, and he's like, you want some apple juice? And she's like, oh, no, thanks. He's like, you don't care for juiced apples? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, beautiful, for me film this video. Probably could have gotten through it, but there's a lot more inside baseball that you know more than me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely go check out the next video right here that's popping up in front of my face. I think you'll enjoy it, and I will see you over there. Thank you so much again, Alex. I love you. I love and you. please go check out I Nostalgic to the Max. You won't be disappointed. Hey, right, y'all. See you later. Bye.